there have been some unintended positive consequences of lockdown that that have been acknowledged. I think mm, two and major I, ones. And I think to answer to answer your question before you even say it, it's unintended, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's an interesting moral question. I mean, can can an under can an unintended positive consequence count towards your decision making? The two I was just going to highlight were lockdown had a fantastic impact on the environment. You saw videos all around the world of like nature returning to previously uninhabited areas, pollution yeah. levels drastically falling. The other thing okay. was lockdown was a watershed moment for things like working from home. It, yep. it, sort yeah, of, yeah, yeah. it potentially triggered a bit of a transition in the way that we live and conduct our lives. I'm thankful for that coincidence, but morally, I think it's irrelevant. So for example, say a crazy murderer is chasing me around my garden with a chainsaw. Due to his heavy duty boots and swinging the chainsaw around, imagine that he actually managed to get rid of some branches that were hazardous uh, and, and kill the weeds in my garden. Is that something that should even factor into our consideration of whether he's doing the right thing? You're saying he's done some convenient gardening for you. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, he accidentally, accidentally did some gardening for me. I mean, perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's not fair because the gardening is just too trivial in scale. I mean, I wouldn't but, say you, know, you, I wouldn't say you someone, owe him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but take my point that, you know, if someone is trying to do something terrible, and unintentionally does some good in the way, we don't, from a moral perspective, I think, generally consider the worth of that, do we? Is, is that true even in a sort of strictly like consequentialist framework? Because I, I, I agree from a Kantian point of view, it's about your intentions and the actions themselves. But if you're... I, I think so. I think so. Because I, I, I think it's about, okay, in fairness, I think it's about expected outcome. So if it was unexpected, then it's morally irrelevant. If it was expected, then, uh, then I guess maybe it does matter. So if he thought ahead of time, oh, that means I'm going to do some gardening for him, but it gets, um, I get to kill him, then I guess maybe it does matter. <laughs> I, I take your point. And, and to be fair, this is why I said they're, they're tangential points. They're side benefits. They, they were positive consequences of a lockdown. But I think you're right. When, when the decision mm. to make a lockdown was made, it was very much done in the interest of public health. 